What's going on guys? Sky from Ticklet today, and today as usual we have our special guest, uh, which is another one, uh, another person from the team, Giovanni. So hey Gio. What's up guys? Hey. Alright, so in this event, or in this podcast, we're going to be talking about the iPhone 6S, the iPhone 6S Plus, the iPad Pro, which I gotta say I'm very impressed with, the, uh, the Apple Pencil. I'm buying it, by the way. I'm getting it in November. Yep. Uh-oh. Yep, I'm going to be getting one too soon, so I'm excited for that. I'm very excited for the uh, iPad Pro. So that's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to talk a little bit about Apple Music. And then, obviously, as you can see, it's mainly an Apple event today, or Apple stream, uh, or Apple-related stream. So we're probably going to talk a little bit about Android and different operating systems like that. Let me just make sure real quick that everything's going fine. All right, it looks like I can hear you guys just, or I can hear you just fine, Geo, on the stream. We're having no issues, no lag, nothing's wrong. It looks like it's going well. So, but with that being said, let's start off talking. What do you want to talk about first? I'll let you pick today. What do you want to talk about first? One thing I want to talk about, and I am extremely excited about it, is the iPad Pro. Yeah. Now, I fell in love with it. I remember how I was criticizing it last week, and how I was saying it was going to be pretty bad, and it's probably going to be an oversized iPad. But Apple has put a lot of engineering into this tablet, and even as far as to show Microsoft of all companies Microsoft working alongside with them to make a beautiful machine it, is, it has quad speakers it has its own dedicated keyboard it has to be purchased but it has a dedicated keyboard and it's just so many awesome features and I knew when I first saw it hands down I had to look at it yep. it was, just, it, was it, it amazed me I was amazed I was very proud of what Apple was able to put to the table. And I'm very excited to get one of my own because both me and Sky should be getting one into the offices soon. So we're very, we're very excited for what's to come. Yep, I completely agree. Um, quite frankly, when I saw it originally, when they first released it, I was beyond impressed. I, As you know, guys, to those that are watching right now on a live stream or just in general, you all yeah. know that we were criticizing the iPad Pro for a little bit. But then, the, the event came. At that point, I was, it was just incredible. It had quad speakers, which is pretty awesome. It has four gigs of RAM, which is something that's not known for Apple. It has an A9X processor, and an M9X processor as well. I think it's overall really impressive. Um, I think, it, again, it has the Apple Pencil, which we'll talk about in a little bit, which is basically Apple's key feature for the iPad Pro. It's made for multitasking. It, which I found, another thing I found interesting is that it can record three, or it can edit three 4K videos and upload onto YouTube in these different areas on the iPad Pro. Which in that case, I was beyond impressed at that point because that, that yeah, I was just about to get into that. That um, when Apple did it, they did it live. They edited three 4K streams at one. Mm-hmm. Yep. The thing Apple would be able to pioneer and use you something that you can't even edit one 4K stream on the uh, new MacBook. I was be, I was so impressed to the point where I took it and literally went to my grandmother and said, "Look, we're gonna get one. I'm gonna get one for you, and I'm gonna get one for me." Mm-hmm. This is this. It was just that, and we were able to do Photoshop and all these. Yep, I can completely agree with you. Quite frankly, this has been the... I haven't been more impressed in Apple in a long time. I think, quite frankly, the Apple Watch is really cool. Don't get me wrong, the Apple Watch is fantastic. But, my God, the iPad Pro, that is... That is a beast. And I found it... The one thing I found very interesting is that... I agree with you on this statement. Is that Apple brought Microsoft up on the stage. Which I found very interesting, to say the least. Yes, very much so. Um, if you don't know about the iPad Pro, it was released on, uh, I think it was September 9th, I think it was. Yeah, a few days ago. And it's yes. going to be a 12.9 inch uh, screen. Or it's rumored to be a 2K screen, which is really good. Um, it's also going to have an A9X processor, M9X, a motion core processor, if you didn't know what that is. 4 gigs of RAM. It's going to have an 8 megapixel rear camera. 
a five episode from his camera, at least that's what's rumored at this time. Let me just double check real quick. I have the page on here. Um, I mean, overall, it's very impressive. Is it the HD FaceTime camera, or is it just the regular camera? It's the HD FaceTime camera, I think. I'm, I'm checking out the specs now. Do we do it for 14? I'm looking now. I think so. Now, quite frankly, am I the only one that thinks this? Is that Apple actually didn't... I th you know, I might, they'll tell me if I'm crazy or not, but in my personal opinion, I think the iPad Pro is reasonably priced. Yes. Yes, it is. Because it would have been different if it was a regular iPad and it was going against that tablet market. But Apple was able to bring statistics to the stage and they made sure they backed up their claim. Mm -hmm. Everything that you, at every like major business worker or even kids alike want to do on their iPad for both school and for work and for business, like they can be productive. The only thing, or the only thing I, can, I think they, they get people mad is the gamers out there. I mean, it can it can run some some they even sit it on stage. It can run desktop quality games. It just haven't been made for you. But yeah. It can run it. You can do it. Yeah, and they showed off some games on the iPad Pro as well as the iPhone Success, and they worked beyond. Ver they, they were ver extremely smooth. And I found that pretty impressive. Uh, for the FaceTime HD camera, uh, I looked it up just now. I looked at Apple's website. It's a 1.2 megapixel uh, front-facing camera. Oh, so I know. That was like, yeah. Look, just look at that now. That's like the one thing that let me down a little bit. But it still works. Yeah. eventually happen. I bet you, when the jailbreak comes for iOS 9, well, in this case, if you didn't know this, Geo, and to those the viewers, the Apple iPad Pro will be shipping with iOS 9.1, just to let you guys know. Um, just out of curiosity, do you think, and I think this is going to happen, do you think the jailbreak team, when it's ready for the iOS 9.1, is going to have, or someone's going to create a Yosemite or something, or El Capitan um, launcher for the iPad Pro on, for jailbreaking? If they do, I'd be extremely impressed because I mean it's not like it can't run. Yeah. It can run it or run it. If if it's able to run four, I mean three, four K streams at once, run full on Adobe Photoshop with multiple layers, and run multitasking apps while doing such, and run four K movies and all of this stuff, and still have a ten hour battery, just do all of these amazing things. And run all these 3D intense games that you saw on stage. If it's able to do all of that, then yeah, you should be able to run um, Yosemite. That's probably it's Apple pretty much just said it, that their MacBook was a flaw making this thing, and they came back with making them because that's all the MacBook was. It was an iPad that was running Yosemite. Mm -hmm. and that's what it is. But if the iPad is stronger. That's impressive. I'm gonna buy it. Yep. I mean, it's an insta buy. To anybody gamer to do anything and they're not ready to fully buy a computer yet. You know how I used to always be the Microsoft Service Pro? Yep. Apple was taking that spot and they, they sent it a really big hit. Now, alright, just for you guys that uh, want to know about the pricing, for the 32 gigabyte, it's gonna be $7.99. And for the 128 gig, it's going to be 949 dollars. For Wi-Fi and cellular, uh, for 128 gig, dollars. It's going to come in silver, gold, space gray. Uh, let's see. It's going to it's going to be a little thicker, a little heavier as usual because it's a pro, but it's very impressive. It's cracked and it can barely be used, but I picked it up and I put it in my hand. 
And I thought to myself, five years ago, this was the thing. Mm. And what Apple has been able to create, which is a 14 inch make super pad that can do pretty much anything, blew my mind. It's it's so perfect. Like it's it's the perfect multitasking tool. If if you're poor and you need to run a business, this is what you buy, pretty much. And they show all the different platforms that's been used for work. Yeah, disagree. And I gotta admit, for the very first time, I can honestly think now people are saying that it's already being the Microsoft Surface Pro 3, and I actually can't agree with that because it, the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 can't uh, can't edit 4K video. Or at least it'll be terrible if you do. At while it's the same price as the uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 3, the iPad Pro can do so much more than that. Yes, it can. Which and the difference is you can. It for us in, in general. When we start recording and stuff, this is going to make our videos come out so much better, and we can do it pretty much anywhere. So, say for instance, we need to go to different events and stuff. Instead of me having to bring a big old laptop that weighs about a pound, because this weighs about a pound and some change, a pound and a half. Yep. But, but what I'm getting for this pound and a half, what I'm able to do, that speaks that speaks so much volume, comparatively speaking, to everything else that has been launched this year. This product. I agree. And I can definitely, this is the most I've ever agreed with Apple in this statement, is that it's the biggest change to iPad since iPad. Very, very much so. Now, it, it, it so, perfectly. do you think Apple's going to continue with the iPad mini line? Yes, of course they will. It, it makes its money. Even though it barely gets, this year they did it really, really sad, but they barely gave it a slide. They gave it a piece of slide. I don't even consider it a, a full slide this year, but they, they, they gave it a slide. But it's all, the iPad mini is always going to get its money. Always. Now, because there's going to be those people out there, like those grandmas and stuff like that, that just want a tablet. And it's just, just going to be versatile. It does what it needs to do. And it's, it's still got power. It's running everything that was in the um, iPad here, too. Just smaller. Now, am I the only one that did know that the iPad mini 4 was released? I was watching the keynote, don't get me wrong. But was I the only one that noticed that the iPad, or, uh, that the iPad, or, was I the only, how do I word this? Was I the only one that didn't notice that the iPad Mini 4 was released at the keynote event? And I, I had to look at the website to find out. Of course not, because they, Apple did it so seamlessly. I mean, they mentioned it, but they didn't give it a full run. They did that, they did that last year. They only gave you iPad Mini a slot. Yeah. And, so, Cross, did you know that they cut off the iPad Mini 3 line? Yep, so now it's all, it's an, uh, for the iPad Mini line, it's only the iPad Mini 2 and the iPad Mini 4. That's strange. That is strange. And I gotta admit, I think this year with the iPad Mini 4, they did do a good change, if you want to say that. Uh, but, because yes. it's, it's more like, the, it's a basically a smaller version of the iPad Air 2. Right. Now, I don't, I think this might not be the case. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think Apple's going to have an iPad, or what do you think? Do you think Apple's going to have an event in October still? Yes, because they still have to, um, there's a whole bunch of computers that need to be revamped. Yeah, do you think they're going to wind up releasing an iPad Air 3 this year? <sighs> See, that I don't know. Mm -hmm. Whatever's going to happen at the next event is going to be, I think, computer related. Yep. It's gonna be it's gonna either be um software related or computer related. Yeah. If they decide to have because remember, if they're gonna yeah, now that I think about it, perfect. That event is gonna probably be the next generation of their pro series for computers. Let's let's think about it. Cause remember how last year they released um the, the trash can and I mean the um the iMac the Mac Pro? Yeah. That's probably what this year, that's probably if we do have an October event, that's what it's going to be. Yep, I think they're, gosh, yeah. this year, I bet you're gonna, they're going to uh, show off the new MacBook Air, uh, or nah, maybe. Uh, no, they released it earlier today, or this year, so MacBook Pro, the, a new, a pop now, new iMac was already released this year, but, um, most likely I'd say a Mac Pro, 
I can see a new iPod Nano and iPod Touch, even though they released it earlier this year, because they want to do a big revamp. I can see that happening. And maybe the iPhone 6C. I highly doubt that, but... Yeah, but there have been rumors recently that the iPad Mini, or iPad, um, that the iPhone 6C will happen. I don't know if I really want it to happen, but... I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to happen. It doesn't have to. Apple's still going to make their money. And they think they're going to be wasting money on that because not a lot of people will buy it. It'll have last generation specs and it'll be last. Yeah. Now, now, Gio, I didn't even notice this, but we are already... Like, you know we've been talking about, uh, about the iPads for the past little bit? Yeah. We are already 15 minutes in the stream. Well, today's stream's going to be a bit longer because there's so much stuff to go in depth with. Yeah, Apple did it so right. Like, if I could go and shake Tim Cook's hand right now, I would give him a nice good handshake and a good pat on the back because he, he did this so well. This just, he made the perfect product. It literally goes out to everyone. If you want a little kid, all you got to do is just buy a super durable case and he has his, his thing for class. If you have a big kid who's going off to college, you can buy him this guarantee that he'll be able to get all his classwork done. If you need to give this to an engineer, you can give it to an engineer and he'll be able to make his business run. Yeah. It just works in so many different ways so well and it, it deserves just it, it's just done so well. Like I don't know how else to explain it. It's just it's, it's, it's wow. It's the biggest thing to happen to the iPad since the iPad. Now do you think now, this might be a little off topic, but I'm going to go back to the iPad Pro in a second. But do you think that due to the iPad Pro, do you think that the MacBook, the new MacBook, is going to not do as good at sales or the MacBook Air? Yes, definitely. Yes. Because it beats the MacBook. Mm-hmm. Everywhere. Well, certainly, the, Ma- well, certainly the MacBook Air. Well, certainly. There you go. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, it certainly beats up the iPad Air 2 the iPad Air, the iPad Mini 4, the uh, MacBook Air, the, the new MacBook, and maybe even the Mac, and I, no, it's, it's pretty much the MacBook Pro in specs, or, or in what it can do. Yes, definitely. I mean, for crying out loud, Apple said it themselves. It had, it, the screen is better than their, than their MacBook Air series. Yeah. So if they're going to do anything this year, they're going to do Anything this year, they, if, at, at, at that October bit, they're gonna have to either release some new computers, release a new trash can, because they know that people want the trash can. Everybody, there's gonna be people out there that are, that are gonna want the new Mac Pro because it does need a revamp. The last time I heard about it was last last year, what was it, 2012, when they released it? Yeah. Yeah, so that that needs a considerable revamp. There's that that they can talk about, but. They're gonna either do that and give me a new screen for my um MacBook Air because they did it so right to me, but they literally canceled out the product. Yeah. The only thing that it can really do is it's literally an iPad that's not running your Zippy. Because it it beats the MacBook. Mm-hmm. It beats it. it. There's no no denying it. They admitted it on stage. We did tons of tests with it. And it's just... Now, Apple did well. They, they gave us an overly expensive product. They Good did. Product. Well. Now, I gotta go do something real quick. I'll be right back, Gio. You just keep talking. I already have the screen shared and everything going on. So just continue talking about the iPad Pro. I'll be back in about a minute. Alright. So, yeah, guys. Oh, my gosh. Alright, so let's talk about some more grounding. Um, let's go, since we're still talking about iPad here, let's talk about the pencil. Pencil is revolutionary. That, along with the keyboard, but let's, let's stay with pencil. Let's say I'm teaching a kid how to write. Instead of whipping out a sheet of paper, I can let him use my iPad Pro. I want an engineer to finish doing some schematics. I don't need a computer. I can just do it on my iPad Pro. All with using stylus. Stylus is um just, just oh my gosh I don't I don't know how to even explain. The, 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 it's just 
Apple did too many things well to the point that it's almost too good. It works too well. It's beating out eighty percent of PCs in regular CPU performance and ninety percent of PCs in graphic performance. And they gave it pretty much all the features you really need. Now it is the perfect, it's the perfect tablet. Did you? Yeah. All right, I'm back. What, what were you guys talking about? Or what you're talking about? I was getting ready to get into pencil. All right. Now, real quick, uh, before that, I want to leave that to like, to, like, the next thing after this because I want to leave like the best thing for last. So, what do you think of the quick type cover or case or whatever? I'm getting it, and I'll tell you why. It's literally a MacBook running iOS. So, I would, like I was talking about earlier, most pencil you can write and everything with it, but then if I have my my own keyboard to just work alongside with it, then, then there it is. That's just how that's just how it's gonna be, and it just it works really well for what it's doing. It's so perfect. Like I can't I can't get off of that. The tablet is so dang perfect that it, it's too perfect. It's canceling out products that they just made. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it's doing. The products are too good. Yeah. And quite honestly, I was thinking about this a little more. Why wouldn't, like, for example, the I, if you guys didn't know, the iPad is $500 or $499. The iPad Pro is $799. Why not? And that's for, well, let's think of it for a second. Now, this is very interesting. Or interesting. The Doesn't the iPad Air 3 start at like 16 gigs and then go up to 32? What do you mean the iPad Air 3? Or iPad Air 2, excuse me. Doesn't that go from 16, 32, 64, 128 gig? Yeah, I think so. Now, Gio, I just thought about this just now. Yeah, Alright, so if I were to buy the iPad Air 2, right? 32 gigs? I'd be spending five hundred ninety nine dollars, right? Right. For an okay tablet. Now, why not go and spend the extra two hundred dollars to get the iPad Pro, which is same storage, but it's a beast of a tablet. It you can do everything with it. It could be your next computer. So why not spend the extra money? What's making me overthink is Apple made a mistake by giving us like. It's, it does what it needs to do. It's the perfect, it's the perfect tablet. Yeah. The only competitor to this would be the Microsoft Surface Pro. And even in that, it's still, like there's, there's times where Microsoft wins, but for what it can do, for what it costs, it's, it's gonna make a lot of companies upset. Yep, and quite frankly, I do think that the iPad Pro is better than any other um, portable tablet, or even portable laptop for that matter. Yeah, it just blows everything else out of the water, and then the keyboard is just this is a perfect attachment to it. Yep. Now, do you, now, do you know how much it is? The keyboard is one sixty nine. It is a bit pricey. It is a little bit expensive. Yeah. So, just out of curiosity, if, for example, if you had, if you, um, let's say you had a hundred something dollars, right? Or let's say you're going out for a new uh, keyboard. Let's say you already had the iPad Pro and you're going out for a new keyboard. Would you go for the $169 Apple keyboard? Or would you go for the, I don't know, a $70 keyboard that pretty much does the same thing? Uh. Because I know for a fact that, or at this point, that company. Apple's not gonna be the only company that does this. Other because of, there's those magnets on the bottom. Other companies are gonna implement that into their uh, keyboards. Well, maybe yes, and no, because it's all it does feels good for the keyboard. Apple makes a really good Bluetooth keyboard. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not it's not Bluetooth. What do you mean it's not Apple's keyboard? Is Bluetooth? No, it's not. You just connect it. 
it says, I don't know how Apple did it, but it influenced technology to where it just puts in or comes in. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about the smart keyboard. I'm talking about Apple's own desktop. Oh, okay, okay. Because you can use that too, and then you can use that. You can have the Magic Trackpad. I don't know if Apple will have a uh, mouse icon on their computer. Mm-hmm. I mean, sorry, it's called the cursor. I don't know if they'll have the cursor icon on the computer, but I mean, if you were able to do that, I think it would work. Yeah. But, no, of course it's not going to be the only accessory. Tons of third parties are going to be building for this. And there's going to be that one third party developer who makes a nice keyboard for like 69 bucks, and it's just going to it's gonna just take away all the money from it. Yeah, I... I completely agree with you on that. Um, Apple's work works. That's the thing about it. Everything that Apple makes, you just know it'll work. That's part of their line. Part it part just works. Knows. Yeah. So yeah, I completely agree with you. It works just fine. Um, next up, I kind of I, I'm get, I'm so anxious to talk about this. I meant to talk about this as last thing today, but and quite frankly, I get, do you see this being like an hour show today? Yeah. Because we're already 26 minutes into the stream. So, with that being said, let's start talking about the next accessory, which is the big thing that Apple released, other than the iPad Pro, which is the Apple Pencil. Can I take it away? Okay, so, Apple Pencil. It's literally... It makes sense. Samsung stylus look like crap. And it's, it's not Samsung's fault because don't get me wrong, Note 5 stylus is on point. It's a really good stylus, but Apple worked really hard towards engineering to get into this stylus. Like how I was talking about earlier, if you wanted to give the iPad Pro to a kid, you can give it to a kid. All you have to do is just put a, a big behind case on it and you can teach him its ABC. If you want to give this tablet to your son that's getting ready to go to high school, Plugged in, he has a stylus, he can write his notes straight on. Yeah. It is to a college professional, he's getting ready to walk to college. Give him the keyboard and the stylus, he can draw on his free time, he can do his schematics. And that's another thing. Schematics is, is not no easy thing to just put down. Apple, but they're using some voodoo technology to do this because some of the things that three 4K streams running full on blueprints and schematics by positioning, that's that's insane. Looking at an entire wireframe, most people probably look at that and see it as mesh, but to run those different things is very hard and it takes a lot of CPU power. What, what Apple is accomplishing right now is, is so well crafted to the point because right now I'm looking at I'm for iOS. Because I know it's going to be just awesome on the new iPad. Oh, but yeah. It's just so rev- revolutionary what they've been able to pack. And the perfect accessory to this iPad would be your iPhone. And we we'll just record or do whatever you got to do. Say, for instance, I start running out of space, just send it all over to your iPad. And your iPad could literally be your computer. Now, one thing that struck uh, struck me with this, with the Apple Stylus, is the 15 seconds of charging equals 30 minutes of battery life. That's amazing. I find that incredible. I think it's beyond incredible. Um, so, sorry? And it has a 12-hour battery life. Yep. And I just let it charge for about maybe one to two hours. Saying I just left it there, and I can just go on and just go full day and just ride out. Yeah. But there's, there's one problem with that. And my whole problem is why did they why did they include that way of charging? Exactly. That's what I was about to say. Yep. If they would have implemented the charging way differently, like if there needs to be some way I can connect the board somewhere else so I can charge it by the wall. Because if I don't get that feature versus they have to make some form of adapter. I know Apple's gonna make one eventually because nobody's gonna always sit there and just plug it into their, their, their board because that's just not going to work. That's one thing I don't like. I mean, yeah. I can see that being useful on like road trips or maybe at a business meet or at a meeting, but in general, I don't like that. Because there's many ways that that thing can break and I wouldn't want it to break inside. Yep, and that comes out of my next thing. It's $100. I find well, that what it's doing, it works. 
I can't disagree, but I do find it to be a little expensive. I can see sixty nine dollars, but yeah, I can see that too. Quite frankly, for something that doesn't even work with any of the other iPads, which I was very shocked about, because I, I would have gotten one for my iPad Mini, but because that only works with the iPad Pro, I don't think it's worth the extra the ninety nine dollars. Wait, so it only works for iPad Pro? Yep, the only thing that works with. Disappo- disappointing, right? So, can, what if I wanted to use like a regular stylus? It doesn't, it doesn't have any of the tilt functions or anything. Yeah, it doesn't have any other functions. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a hiccup. Well, maybe they'll implement it in iOS 9 with one. Maybe. I hope so, but. Because the only way that thing would make sense, you won't just sell a, 90, a $99 accessory and it only works for that one thing. Well, they would, because. They yeah, have a keyboard, but. Well, I kind of disagree because unfortunately, you know how the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 is. It only works, or that stylus, or the Microsoft Surface 3, that sir, uh, that stylus only works with that tablet. But that's different. That's a full on computer. This is a tablet, and it's running software that other, other, other computers are running. I mean, other tablets are running in the same line. You know, Apple has to keep everything to themselves. So if they're going to make that accessory cost that much, it has to be able to work with something else other than the iPad Pro. The keyboard, I understand. I know that's going to be an accessory for that because that's literally made for that. Mm-hmm. With that stylus, you're definitely going to have to work with at least the iPad Air 2. I it, uh, They want to keep it at a business market like how they are. They need to let it work with that. Yep. But Apple works in mysterious ways and they just make their money by thinking it's their money. Now, what do you think is be a more of a seller, the Apple Stylus or the keyboard? The keyboard is going to sell. Yep. You probably don't have that smart connector thing for everything. They're going to have to implement something into that keyboard so I can work with other things. I don't know what they're going to implement, but they have to work with something else. Because that keyboard, people are going to buy it and they're going to get upset because it doesn't work with what they want to work with. Yeah. Now, quite frankly, I am very disappointed in the Apple Pencil not working with other tablets. Like the, uh, the iPad Mini line or the iPad Air line, even. Yeah. I mean, I would have. I can tell you right now, Apple, and if you're watching this, I highly doubt it, but if you were ever to watch this, I would have given you all. I would have given you my $100, my money, and I would have gotten the Apple Pencil for my iPad Mini. Yeah, that, that's. that's a, it's worth it if they implement it in another way. I mean, you may not be able to get all of those awesome features. Where you can get some of those features. Yeah. Some of those big, big features that it had, like just giving me the ability to push down pressure and then lean on the other side, give me those basic features just to work, then yeah, I'd buy it for I'm not asking you to give me the whole, okay, make it work like how it works in the iPad Pro because it's not. The iPad Pro is made as a pro iPad. The iPad Pro is not a pro tablet. It's, you, it's just there for you to work with. I see. It's so we are over we're now at 33 minutes so this is where generally we like to recap what we've talked about so far so uh real quickly we've talked about the ipad we haven't talked too much about anything but we talked about the ipad pro the ipad air uh 2 we talked about the ipad mini 4 the apple stylus the apple keyboard and much more um all right let's see, let's before we go on the next topic which is going to be the apple tv give me your final thoughts on the ipad pro as well as all the accessories for the ipad pro I want it. I want the iPad Pro and I want the keyboard. All right. Are you gonna get? Would you get the stylus? I don't know. For mm-hmm. iPad Pro, of course, but I just I I don't know yet. Very interesting. All right. So I'm going to say my final thing. iPad Pro, in my opinion, is a revolutionary tablet. I think it's much better than the iPad line that there is now. I think it's much better than any other tablet at given time or even portable uh, laptop or portable tablet. I think it's generally, in my personal opinion, I think it's the best tablet out on the market. Not only that, but it competes very well with the Microsoft Surface Pro 3, which I think is nice. I think it's very impressive, very fluid. I like how Apple introduced it. It's coming in November, which I'm excited for. Um, it's $799, which I don't think is that bad of a price, comparing to the other tablets and computers. 
uh, we I, I completely agree with Gio saying that the MacBook is not going to sell as well as the iPad Pro, and I think the MacBook sales are going to go down with this. That um, the perfect configuration for me would be to get the Apple iPad Pro, and then I would get the uh, keyboard. That's pretty much a must-have if you're going to be doing any productivity for it. I don't think you want to use your fingers, even though it has a full keyboard for it or a full virtual keyboard. But I'll eventually also get the uh, stylus for it. Um, now, Gio, we've never done this before, but we're at the 35 minute mark. Uh, but for the very first time in the Tech Lights Today uh, podcast, we are taking a two minute break. I feel like I think that's fair, right, Gio? We need to take a little break real quick. Sure. So we're going to take a two minute break. Uh, we're going to. We're not going to stop the stream, but we are going to turn down our record, uh, voice so where you can't hear what we're saying or anything like that. We're just going to have a little two-minute break. So that being said, I am going to get right into it. I'm going to uh, really quickly make it to where I can turn down the microphone. And we'll talk to you guys in two minutes. Unmute the microphone. All right, guys. So here we are again. We're back to the stream, uh, as you can see. Obviously, let me just get this up. Let me um, get ready for this. Try to get. I, I just wanted to do a two-minute break for you guys because I know a lot of you were requesting it. So that's what we did. And that's what we're gonna hopefully do if you like that uh, more often. Now, just out of curiosity, Geo, we're at forty minutes into the stream. The longest stream we've ever had was last week.
people to make it, where we did a uh, 48 minute stream. Do you think we're gonna pass that? Oh yes, we're, we're gonna get into a lot of things, a lot of stuff happening. Yeah, I think this might be one of being like an hour, hour and a half. This is gonna be crazy. This by far is gonna be the longest. So now, I kind of want to talk about the Apple TV now. So uh, we've, we're halfway now, we've gone halfway. So now we're going to talk about the Apple TV. Let me just get this up real quick before we start talking about it. So what do you think, Gio, of the Apple TV? Apple TV? Hey, I mean, I don't, I, I like it. Don't get me wrong. But it's not good enough. If you're wondering, um, the Apple TV, a lot of people are saying it's going to have almost just as many apps as the iOS, only because it, it's running iOS. It's running a different version of iOS. So it might have the a million apps. But see, 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 the problem with that is it's, it's working different. It runs iOS. But it's like an iPad that you get from the hospital. It's running iOS, but it only lets you see that one screen. Yeah, okay. true. So if it, if, the, if the software isn't there for those for those different applications to run, 
because you can always have the hardware. The hardware will always be there. But if the software doesn't allow for that to run, it's like when you try to remote watch use Adobe way back when you, when, you, when the software wasn't there, you had no job. You couldn't open anything job related on your phone. If the software was there, it could work. But because they didn't implement it to let the software work on the product, then you just couldn't do it. Yeah. Now, do you, are you going to buy one? I really, I want to. I honestly want to. Because if you buy one, that gives you an automatic smart TV. But at the same time, if it's, it's, it's one of those things that you know you want. Like when you go to the store and you see, it's like you go to the store and you see that new pair of shoes. And it's like, these things are going to help my feet stay good. They're going to feel comfortable. Maybe they're going to hold my life better. But at the same time, they, they cost three hundred and twenty dollars. They look real good. They look real nice. I know they're gonna last. But it's not worth long. it. But it's it's. I can use that three hundred and twenty towards something else. Yep, something better. Right. But I mean, I think it's worth it. Like they they're listening. That's the thing I love about Apple. They're listening. They're listening really really well. They hear what their customers are saying. But if they can't, you know, give it that extra bump and say, okay. Maybe at the next developer conference, they say, all right, and now we're now allowing all of our iOS apps to be ran on Apple TV. Hands down, I'll make sure I go to the store and buy it. Yep. But if they, don't, they tell me I can only use about 100 to 200 of the app that I already have on my phone on there, like Crossy Roads and stuff, I mean, don't get me wrong, those are fun games. But if they can implement like GTA and those hardcore games, because I'm buying those pretty bad. But <laughs> those games and stuff like that on there to make it work, and I can play it on my TV, then heck yeah. I'll put my money first. Yeah, and the Apple TV, it's rumored that it's going to come with Minecraft, or there's going to be Minecraft, which I think would be pretty cool for uh, people like gaming and that kind of stuff. Um, it's going to be 149 for th- uh, 32 gigs and 199 for 64, which I think is okay priced. Um, yes. But at the other hand, you're comparing that at that point to the, and this is my only uh, debate, while yes, it would make it become a smart TV, you could also buy the uh, iPod Touch at sixth generation for one ninety nine, and you would be able to have all that, all those TV shows, all those games on the go. Right. So I don't really. I find it kind of weird that they raise the price, but I can understand that because of the remote. But at the same time, it is kind I like of. The remote. I like the remote. Yeah, I, I like it too. Don't get me wrong. I like the remote, but it is kind of strange why they did that. Yeah. So right now it looks like we're actually we're about to beat our uh, longest stream. It's pretty awesome. We're at uh, forty-seven minutes and thirty seconds. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But uh. Yeah. So yeah. What finally? What's the last? All right, we're gonna summarize. That. What do you? What do you uh, think of the Apple TV? So sum it up. Apple TV in a couple words. Perfect, but not perfect. That's pretty good. I like that. Um, yeah. I'd say it's. Hmm. Well, it's not gonna be a few words, but better than your TV, but not better than the competition. Right. And that's, I think, how a lot of people feel about it. Perfect. Perfect. So, quite frankly, I don't know. I, I like the idea, don't get me wrong, I like the idea of the Apple TV and all these different companies, all these different TV companies uh, for this kind of stuff. But frankly, I don't really care too much. I mean, it's a little expensive for an addition, but... Quite frankly, I, I, that's how I feel. Okay. Um, is there anything else we need to talk about? About what do you mean today? Yeah. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Why are you able to stay or no? No, 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 no. We can stay. I was just wondering because it sounded like you're getting ready to close. Oh no, we're not even close. We still have to talk about the iPhone 6s, Apple uh, Music, about, yeah, we have talked about that, yeah. the Apple Watch, all these different. We have a whole bunch of stuff to talk about still today. All right. Well, Apple's iPhone. Yes. Oh, God. 
rock. We, yo, you do not know how excited I was when I was in class and I sat there watching the event and I was the only one in class to scream when finally Apple said, we're allowing 4K. Yep. I was like, thank you, Jesus. Like, we have been begging for 4K for so long. And you know, since this is Apple camera, it's going to look good. Gorgeous. Beyond gorgeous, my God. All you need now, that's like the first thing I came to mind. The only thing I need now to, to be my next workflow for the next four to five years is a Mac, an Apple iPad Pro, and my iPhone 6S. And that could be your workstation for the next four years. Yep. If you needed it to be, it could be your workstation. All you would need to do is just record your images, upload them to iCloud, take them down on iCloud for your iPad, edit your videos on YouTube. Now, real quickly. Now, real quickly. While we're talking about all these good things, can I, I just want to talk about the bad things real quick, all right? Now, there are a few bad things, and that's this. It starts with 16 gigs. Are you stupid, Apple? What's wrong with you? Are you mental in the head? Quite frankly, I would have expected 32 gigs at least for a start because of the 4K video recording. Are you kidding me, Apple? But the recordings are in H.264, though. So, I mean, it's definitely the most efficient codec, but it's a small codec. I have, but still, you gotta think of this. Even though, even if it's, uh, even though it's for, uh, that, it's still 4K video, which is going to take up a lot of space on your new phone. That means you're not going to be getting 16 gig. Apple, in my personal opinion, is very stupid for doing that when the competition starts at 32 gigs. That is very, very true, and I do agree on that. If Apple wants to start making more money, because I think they implement, the thing that kind of aggravated me was when they started with the iPad Pro. They started at 32 gigs. Yep. Why couldn't they have done that with the iPhone? That would have made so much sense. Because they're adding all new features, and they were talking about how they were trying to use the safe space and everything. But if it would have started at 32 gigs with a new baseline, it would have made so much sense. They would have been able to, they would have made more money because more people would have bought them. They, we, people have told Apple. And they, they even said it on stage. We're like, we know we're running. We, we know about how we're taking way too much space. But we, we offer them these certain space amount, and they're not getting what they expected to get. And they're trying to say they're conserving space because the iOS 9 is not supposed to be that much space taking up on your phone. But now you got 4K videos you got to worry about. You got to worry about the more high definition photos. You got to worry about all the big apps that you want to start selling because you have all these big touch features and stuff. To make all these different features work with all these different apps, people are start putting more time and effort into the apps. But what's the point if you can only have about six or seven really, really big apps or a hundred small apps? You know, they, 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 gotta, they gotta think. They gotta start thinking and they gotta start thinking, right? Yep. Now, guys, I've been recently thinking about, because quite frankly, I've been having so many issues with my iPhone 5. A lot of you know that I have an iPhone 5. It's garbage at this point. I've been having so many issues with it. I've my battery's been terrible. I Here's a cool example. I unplugged it today at 11 a.m., right? I went through my day, an hour later it died. And I wasn't even using it. That's how bad my battery is. It's very laggy. It's not very fast. I'm having so many issues with it. So now I'm trying to think, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna get the iPhone 6S, but I kind of am considering the iPhone 6. What do you think, Gio? This is not a bad phone. It's, it's really not. I mean, the spec bump is well worth it to go get an iPhone 6. It is definitely worth it if you had an iPhone 5 and you haven't had the time to be able to display. But if you, it's, it's, how do I put this? You're missing so many features. So I would, I would suggest you go up to an iPhone 6, even though it only has 16 gigs. But it is, the spec upgrade is well worth it. Yeah, I agree. Uh, now, quite frankly, I... Wow, we're already four minutes in this. We're, this is going to be the very first video we've ever had on our channel that's an hour long. That's incredible. Now, frankly, I like it. I like the Apple's success. I think it's impressive. I like the Force Touch on it, or the 3D Touch, whatever Apple's calling it now. Uh, what do you think? Make sure they sure whatever they works because people are going to get really, really upset if they can't have any space on their phones and all of a sudden you know, 
Yeah. What do you think of 3D Touch on the iPhone success now? You there? Uh, I'm sorry. What do you think of the 3D Touch on the iPhone success? I love it hands down. It works so seamlessly with the software. I mean, it's one of those things that you don't pay a lot of mind to. Like when Apple incorporated the 3D Touch on the iPad, I mean, it just it's one of those things that just works when I was in. Oh, for example, nobody thought Touch ID was going to be used. And it's used and implemented in so many different The same thing goes along with Force Touch. Force Touch opens up so many different features. Your entire display panel can become six to seven buttons along with your main home button. Automatically. Okay, I'm very impressed with it. I think it looks um, do, you, do you think people are going to use it? And if so, how many? Or do you think it's going to be a popular thing around all smartphones at that point? I don't know. The way Apple works is they play like the test. No, oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I did. Live stream. Live stream. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Gosh, anyways, I'm sorry about that, guys. It's absolutely fine. <laughs> Find a better. They like Apple likes to test things, like I was saying earlier, and they they like to see if it works. Because there are times where Apple completely really takes out features, and we just don't notice them. Exactly. Yep. And for such, it's a physical feature, so they have to make sure it works. Mm. All right. Um, I'm having some issues right now with the stream. Um, let's make sure I can still. At least make sure I'm still in this or not. Oh, what else I am? I don't know. I'm checking now. Starting freak it's starting my computer's starting to lag up a little bit. Well guys, if we crash, thanks so much for being a part of the stream. If we have anything, we'll probably bring up the stream again and we'll talk about it more. And death we'll probably get into the iPhone 6 and we'll bring up another stream. But Nope, oh, we're still up. We're still here. We're still here, okay. Um, alright, if we get ready to crash, I gotta say this. Apple's iPhone 6 is the perfect companion, in my opinion, to the iPad Pro. And the iPad Pro is gonna last you, hands down, at least a good four to five years. Yeah, at least. You can't say that about any other device in Apple's life. You can't say that about this new device. Yep. It won't work. It's going to last. We got 4K and 30. So there's probably going to be some, at some point, like how, um, uh, how, um, dang it, how Microsoft used Nokia, remember Nokia, the 1020? Yep, I did. They upgraded that to 4K. You can now shoot 4K on that phone. Mm -hmm. It didn't come from shooting 4K, but you can shoot 4K now. So all Apple has to do is just send out an update to update me from, um, uh, 4K 30 to 4K 60, and that's just it. Because I already have optical image so that's all I really need. Just keep, just let me sit there, plug in a microphone, and those are my videos for the next couple of years. I wanted to use the front face, front, front, blah blah. Gosh, I can't talk today. If I want to look at the front camera, I can use the front camera because I have 1080, and it's already going to be 1080 because it's the FaceTime camera. 720 look like. 1080s, 1080s are gonna probably look like 4K and 4K is gonna look like just, just beautiful. Yeah. So. Alright, I'm gonna have some major issues, guys. I apologize for this. The computer's lagging up like crazy. I don't know what's wrong. Um, just in case we lose you guys, thank you guys for watching. Please sure to like, comment, subscribe. And, um, yeah, sorry for the issues. Um, we're gonna continue going with the stream if it winds up working out very well. But right now, we're having so many issues, it's not even funny. So, um, let me just make sure, let me see if I can still, if it's working or not.
All right, I still hear our cell, our, us talking in the stream, but the pages are completely reloading. So, I guess because we still, you guys can still hear us, let's just continue talking until I don't know something happens. But um, next thing, real quickly, are you buying the iPhone Success or Success Plus? I don't think so. I mean, maybe. I'll get, it, I'll get it in the offices, but I don't know if I'll be fine. Yeah, I agree. I unfortunately, I like it. Don't get me wrong. It's it's cool. I have to have with it for a couple months, and then I'll make my decision. Yep. Were you shocked that Apple implemented um, 12, a 12 megapixel rear camera? I was expecting it to be 16 megapixels because I thought the rear would be more to double it. But you know, Apple, they made sure they made the camera. Yep. Apple doesn't play about the camera. The camera is going to work. And work it does. It works so well and seamless with everything that it's doing that it's it just it's it's amazing. Yep, I agree. Now guys, we are our computer's jammed up. I don't know what's wrong. I can't even stop the stream right now, so um any suggestions, Geo? Oh, um, I got it up. Never mind. Let me try exit. Let me try removing all these tabs because these tabs are having issues right now. Part of the issue. So we just remove all these different things. All right, the stream's still going. It looks like it looks like everything's going good. Um, just trying to make sure everything's okay. It's kind of very iffy. And that's probably because of how long we've been on the stream. It doesn't help that we've been on the stream for already or over an hour now. So it's one of our, this is the longest stream we've ever had. Yes. Now, guys, one thing that you, which is very funny, is that everything that we said about uh, the Apple event was true. We stated, or everything that we said about the Apple success is true. So in our, so you can got, you guys can trust what we say about the Apple events because everything we said in the Apple event today or over the past few months was completely true. So don't worry, guys. We don't mess with you at all. Um, tell you the truth. My computer's having so many problems. It's kind of crazy. I don't know what's wrong. So with that being said, I guess we could see all you know what I'll do. Here's what I'll do. I'm gonna turn off the screen uh, capture option before my computer gets worse than it is. So while you can't see what we're, uh, the screen, we're still gonna be talking. So it'll be more of a podcast style. But my computer's completely lagged up now. Man, this has been a little hard. <laughs> Are we off the stream yet? Because I'm really hungry. I want to get that. We get to the end. I'm. I'm trying. We gotta talk about the Apple Watch. That's the last thing we have to talk about. But give me a second. All right. I'm going to rather than uh, to those that are watching. Sorry about the issues right now on the stream. I know. I'm hoping if everything goes well, you guys can see everything that's going on. But um. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what's wrong. All right, let's just like, let's just talk about the Apple Watch now. Gio, did you see the Apple Watch? Gio. You there? Gio. All right, guys. It looks like we lost Geo, or something's going on. Let me just stop the recording of the screen share. Let me just stop presenting to everyone. So we're Geo. You there? Geo. All right. I, I don't know what happened. I guess we lost each other for a second. All right, do you want to talk about the final topic real quick? Yep, which is Apple Watch, right? Yep, Apple Watch. All right, my computer looks like there's a virus or something's going on. Something really bad's going on on my computer. I don't even know if I'm able to end the stream or something. I don't know what's going on. Uh-oh. So we're going to talk about the Apple Watch real quick. If this works, it works. If it doesn't, I don't know what to say. But the Apple Watch, did you see the new variations of the Apple Watch, Geo? Yes. 
I find it really cool. But, um, yeah, guys, go check us out. We are having so many problems to, in this stream at the end now. This is, like, the worst time to have an issue. But we are having so many issues. We can't continue anymore. So I'm trying to end the stream. It's not even ending correctly. So um, thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. This is probably going to take a minute to take down the stream. We're having so many